On Tuesday, June 18th, the Pike County Fiscal Court discussed the implementation of cannabis dispensaries in Pike County. Kentucky's medical marijuana law will take effect beginning July 1st, 2024, and the Pike County Fiscal Court is going to allow it to pass rather than create new ordinances for the county. Pike County Judge Executive Ray Jones gives us more details. We were concerned if you put this on the ballot that people would think, well, they're just going to be selling pot. Farthest thing from the truth. There's no, under this bill, there's no uh, marijuana for, for smoking purposes it would be dispensed for any reason, medical or otherwise. Cancer patients, uh, people with chronic pain. So if this will give relief to people who are suffering when traditional medications are not helping, then it's well worth it. Because it could be any of us, it could be any member of my family, any member of your family or anyone else. So uh, it's important that we don't shut the door to something that may help people who are sick. Um, we are comfortable enough with the way the statute's worded that we don't think there's going to be any, any real possibility for uh, abuse of this. Appalachian Wireless, where your connections matter the most. Right now, get up to $550 off select devices on new or renewed line with the Appalachian Unlimited or Mix and Mash plan. Offer good in-store only. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Rather than attempting to ban cannabis in Pike County, Jones says there are numerous benefits to consider. He adds that the state legislature will closely monitor production and distribution. The county had a choice. We could do nothing and allow the law to take effect. Two, we could ban it in the county. Well, that would not stop Coal Run, Elkhorn City, or the city of Pikeville from allowing it. So I don't see the, the you know, with, with the, the potential for a business to come in here to create jobs and to help people at the same time, I don't see that the county should shut the door on that. Our concern about putting it on the ballot was the way it would be worded, uh, there's been really no education on this. It is so new. And the way it would be worded on the ballot would almost make it sound like you're going to be selling pot for people to smoke. And that is not allowed at all under the, under the state statute. So we didn't want to be, people to be confused over it. If we need to come back in and, and take uh, any type of uh, ordinance, put an ordinance in place to further regulate it, we can later on. Um, but we also know that the state's going to be looking at this routinely to make sure there's no abuse, to make sure that it's trying to do what it's intended to do. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.